white man, one white man controls 600 Negroes. There you go. That, hold on, you gotta say that on the mic, sis. That was heavy. God gave him power to do it. God gave him power to do it. Because what we read in Romans 13 says the powers that be are ordained of God. Bring it on! The only way these people are in authority because God's allow it. We serve, we serve a powerful God. I'm telling you, the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, bro, he's powerful. He's powerful. Guess what? He killed. He killed all the Egyptians for you. Guess what? Noah, he said, Noah, go prophesy to these wicked people, but I'm going to save you, your wife, and your kids. And he killed the whole planet for Noah's sake. All right? People under underestimate our God. And hunger. He said, so we shall serve these enemies in hunger. So guess what? Do we own that? This is the best chicken in town, right? <laughs> we got to go down. Is a black person own Dino's? No, no, it's Arabs own it. Kroger, do black people own Kroger's? No. Do we own Walmart? No. We don't. They, we don't own those things. He said we shall serve our enemies in hunger because why? We didn't hearken to the commandments. We don't. And in thirst. And in thirst. We know we like the a lot of people buy liquor, bruh. Yeah, on every corner liquor store, you gotta go to them to get that. You wanna get this? <laughs> Woo I'm telling you. You want Pepsi? You want Dasani? Look, he, he drinking Deja Blue. We don't make that. We don't got no water reservoirs, no well. Guess what? You don't pay your bill. You have a water company cutting it off. Straight up. And in nakedness. It's an and in nakedness. Them clothes. You look on these tags, it say made in China. It don't say made in Ray Ray, made on 26. Right. Made at Victory Park. It don't say that. It's made it all from our enemies that had us in slavery. Bring you know? it out. And in front of all these. See, that's funny. It says a one of all things. If you want to sin, you have to go to your enemies just to sin. Yeah, that's right. It says a want of all things and a lacking of all things. So guess what? You say that you want to eat pork. No, you can't eat pork. You got to go to your enemies to get that. To sin. That's what you got to do. Come on. Where you at? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Man, who put a yoke of iron upon our neck? Look at this yoke of iron. He said he put a yoke of iron upon our neck. He, God, is describing our enemies. That's right. But guess what? We not waking up and realizing who our enemies are. We want to stay asleep. Read on. Until he have destroyed thee. Now, are we still here? Yeah, we still here. It's until he had destro uh, destroyed thee, right? 1860s. Abraham Lincoln said what? Emancipate the slaves. Free the slaves. Right. Why did he say that? Because our mind was gone. He said, take the chains off neck. That's like you train a dog, right? You got him on a leash. But then you said he pulling him, you steady pulling him. As time go by, the leash gone. He walk on side of you now. Because he's trained. That's what he said. He said, emancipate the slaves. Take the chains off them because they ain't going to run nowhere. They mind gone. They depended on us. They depended on the slave master for religion, for food, for clothes, to get married. We depend on them. So take the chains off because they got to come back for us. And guess what? Y'all don't get 40 acres and a mule, but they ain't do that though. Bring it out. Because guess what? You got your 40 acres and your mule from your enemy, but hold up. You had to cultivate. You had to put crops on that land. Where you going to get the seeds from? You right? You got to go. But you ain't got no money. Bring it out. So how you going to buy from them? Okay, look. We going to provide the seeds for you, but you got to give us part of your land. Or you got to take out a loan. And guess what? Knowing you can't afford that loan, then they end up taking the land. Right. It's, it's all propaganda. It's all propaganda and schemes. But guess what? If I was either, if I was the white man, I'd do it too. I'd do it too. Because guess what? They know we ain't the same people. Right. They know that. That's why they take advantage. That's why they put liquor stores on every corner. You can't go in St. Matthews and, and go in the neighborhood and see a grocery store on the corner, uh, liquor store on the corner. Jewish Burley buses drive through their neighborhoods. Come on. Because oh, guess what? Police, when the police drive through a neighborhood, it brings the property value down. Because they say, oh, this is, it is unsafe here. Come on. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Pick that sign down. Give me the sign about the, uh, with the uh, traveling on ships. He said a nation should do what? The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So he ain't say one man. He said a nation against thee from far. They traveled a large body of water. They are from far, the one end of the earth to the other. From the ends of the earth, as swift as the eagle flight. Now, hold that, hold up, I, I got Greek, 
Who are the Greeks? They Caucasian people. Right. Roman coin, eagle, Caucasian people. Spanish coin, eagle, Caucasian people. We might say Spanish. When I say Spanish, like the conquistadors, the light, the li real light, uh, Spanish people. Because sure. Spaniards, Spaniards, thank you, thank you, officer. And then it says the American coin, the eagle. God says swift as the eagle fly. God is giving us, he's identifying our enemies in these days. Oh man, hold that. Get Amos 3-7 real quick. Hold that. Because people probably like, what? How are they getting that from that? How? Watch this. Watch this. Amos, Amos 3 and 7. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Who he revealed his secrets to? The prophets. Who are the prophets? Give me Amos 2 and 11. Okay, we're going to show you who the prophets is. The book of Amos, chapter 2, verse 11. Bring it out. And I raised up of their sons for prophets, and of their young men for Nazareth. And it is, is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, said the Lord. So he said, I raised up your sons for prophets and Nazarites. Is it not yet thus, the children of Israel? Meaning what? The prophets and the Nazarites are the children of God. So he revealed the secrets into the prophets to the people that's on his 12 tribes. That's how we can break that stuff down. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Go back. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall break a nation against thee from far from the ends of the earth. And swift as the eagle flying. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So it says a nation whose tongue shall not understand. They came on, they were speaking Latin. We ain't understand that. Come on. A nation of fierce counties. A fierce counties. A fierce counties mean what? When they came over there, they had the armor. They had their, their horses, whatever. They came over there. They came over there with one job and one agenda: to kill, to to kill, to conquer, and destroy, to take back for slavery, for cheap labor. Read on. Which should not regard the person of the old. Hold up. They don't regard the person of the old. Old Grandma May. They ain't regard her. But guess what? We want to show love to these people. I'm going to bring it up to 2019, right? We're going to bring it up there. Do it regard the old, when they out here beating us, they out here locking our people up, they don't care about that. They don't care how old you are. Read on. Lord, show favor to the young. Hold up. A woman just got shot in her stomach. With, uh, shot in her stomach, pregnant. Yep. Pregnant. That's they shot in her stomach, and guess what? They indicted her. They indicted her for what? Manslaughter. Why? Because they said she put her, she she put the child in a uh, endangering environment. This is the injustices that goes on in America. Right. But we saying God ain't for the Israelites. God is for the Israelites, only for the Israelites. Right. And God is gonna give us out of this captivity. That's right. Okay, give me Genesis, what's that, Genesis 25? The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. So it's going into Esau, right? He's a profane, he's a fornicator. Esau always talking about sex. If you look at all the TV shows, they on the media, it's all about sex. Come on. Who, for one morsel of meat, sold his birthright? For one morsel of meat, he sold his birthright, right? The birthright was what? The promises that was made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. He sold that because he was the he was the elder child, the firstborn. Read on. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing. Hold on, he was gonna inherit the blessings. Read on. <laughs> he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance. Though he sought, though he sought it carefully with tears. For for ye are not come unto the mouth that might be touched. Now get Genesis 25. That's what she wanted. I wanted to read that. That's what she wanted. Because he saw, even though he saw it carefully with tears. All right, brother. So long, so long. Right. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse, verse 28. And Isaac loved East, and Isaac loved Esau, because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob, and Jacob saw the pottage. And Esau came from the field, and he was faint. So Esau came from the field. He was faint. He was out there hunting. Right? Getting food. We don't. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore, 
was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, sell me this day thy birthright. So Jacob said, sell me your birthright. Because your question, what was your question again? Why do we not forgive Esau? Why do we not forgive Esau? That was your question? Why Esau ain't forgiven? Okay. Oh, we, we, yeah. Okay, okay. Come on. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point of to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of uh, lentils. Alright, so now we already got the history of it. He sold his birthright, his inheritance, to Jacob. The book of Amos, chapter 1, verse 9. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Tyrus, and, of, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment there, thereof, because I deliver up the whole captivity of, to Edom, and, and remember not thy, the brother, the brotherly covenant. So now, Edom, Esau, he was our brother, right? He didn't remember the brotherly, brotherly covenant. Jump to verse 11. Verse 11. Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, now, three transgressions of Edom. Edom is Esau. Who they get Genesis 36? Let's show her that real quick. Genesis 36 and what? 6? 36. Yeah, 36 and what? The book of Genesis, chapter 36, verse 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. So who is Edom? Esau is Edom. Now go back to Amos. So we know that Esau, we know that Esau sold his birthright to Jacob for a uh, pot for some pottage. The book of Amos, chapter 1, verse 11. Thus said the Lord for three transgressions of Edom. Now who is Edom? Esau. Read on. And for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. That's why ain't no forgiveness coming. He not turned away that punishment. That punishment. Why? Because he pursued Jacob with the sword. He killed us. That's Come on. He slaughtered us. He ain't show us no pity. Read on. And, and then cast off all pity. He cast off all pity. He ain't show us nothing. When Esau came, he seen us. He know he's his brother. He got the swing and the sword killing everybody. Right. Well, we read in the curses. He didn't regard the old. Didn't show favor to the young. None of that. They took away our, well, God gave them the power. I took away our nationality. Had us in chains. Had us packed like sardine on slave ships. He ain't had no pity. He still don't show mercy when you're in front of a judge. Somebody be crying. Say, you know, hey, I didn't mean to do it. Hey, give him the death penalty. Give him 250 years. How can a, how can a man do 250 years? He said, he making mockery of us. Say, nigga, as soon as you die, you're going to wake up, you still going to be in jail. Your soul going to be in jail. He ain't showing no pity. That's why he don't get no forgiveness. Read. And his anger did turn perpetual. His anger turned perpetually like it's forever. The white man don't like us. He might go around be friends with us. They don't like us at all. Right. Read on. You got to look. It's, 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 about Esau and, it's about Esau and Jacob. That's what it's about, this whole world. Esau is at the top. The Israelites at the bottom. It ain't no Israelites as a hole in the middle. No. So for us, it got to turn around. We going to be on top. Esau going to be on the bottom. Then he going to be destroyed, wiped off the face of the planet. Get up. Get the Lord around for that. Hell yeah. God going to destroy this dude. Up. And he kept his wrath forever. What? God said he kept his wrath forever. He kept his wrath forever. That's right. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, man. Do Romy twenty. Yo, give me Romans nine. I'm about to show us something. So, what's your nationality, sis? You're an Israelite. You don't even gotta say the Hebrew. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. But watch, I'm about to show you something real quick. Cause I know you probably about to leave or something. You're getting phone calls. They blowing you up. Where you at, these day? <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you. To, no, give me get Ecclesiastes twelve thirteen real quick. Yeah. Twelve thirteen real quick. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The conclusion of the whole matter, why this Bible was written. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God and keep the commandments that's in this Bible. For this is the whole duty of men. That's our purpose on the earth, us as Israelites, to enforce the power of God. We his government. All right, now, go to Romans 9. Remember that. I'm about to show you something about Jacob and Esau. 
Give me Romans 9, 9 11. Thank you, thank you. So, the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 11. But the children being not yet born, neither have done any good or evil. So, he said the children not yet being born. How you doing, sir? You know your nationality according to the Bible? I'm going to have somebody teach you real quick. Let's bear with me real quick. We're going over Jacob and Esau. Are you familiar with that? All right, so Jacob and Esau. All right, get, get, read Romans 11. For the children, for the children being not yet born, not to have done any good or evil. So you know Rebecca, right? She had Jacob and Esau. Jacob is the forefather for the Israelites. Esau is the forefather of the so-called Caucasian race, right? So Rebecca, and, I mean, Jacob and Esau was in the womb. They ain't did nothing evil or wrong yet. This is what God is saying, read. That the purpose of God according to the, according to elect, election might stand. So it's the, the election of God might stand. God chose him. God chose Jacob over Esau. That's what God did. We know. Not of works. Not of works. But of him they come. God called him. Read on. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger. Esau was our older brother. He gonna serve the younger. This was prophecy, Rebecca was and saying. Right. Come on. Verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God loved the Israelites. He said, Esau have I hated. That's what he said. I wanted to show you that God hates this man. That's what he said. Hold it, give me one last. Malachi 3.6. Malachi 3.6. I got to show you this. I got to show you this. Because he was saying, oh, God, God, this. Malachi 3.6. The book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. God don't change. So if he hates you, he hates you. He don't change. He don't change. He loved the Israelites. So, hey, we got a fly right there. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.